of here. Oh, look at that. So shoved in between them. This is hair. Oh, and there's pus and hair and everything that was wedged up inside there. Nasty. This is why these teeth can't stay there. That is a big pocket of pus and teeth. And there's more. shoved up in this for this poor dog he will feel so much better getting this out so we're gonna take all three of these teeth because they are all sideways and compromised and clean this out so this is the defect that those two teeth three teeth basically left we cleaned it out so you can see all of the there's blood in there now because we cleaned out all this infected tissue, but I did not take any bone away. This is just a huge hole because those teeth were so packed with things and I expect the other side's gonna look the same. So we're gonna make a flap and bring this big flap down here to close this whole hole so this dog doesn't continue to get stuff packed in there. Big pocketing in here, just like on the other side. Thankfully, these teeth are a little bit loose because normally it's hard to get down in there. So split them. Can I have a smaller forceps, please? in this dog's face from these teeth sitting sideways because they're not supposed to. This is very common in brachycephalic or smushed faced dogs and they need to have dental work and it needs to be done regularly and these teeth often need to be pulled prophylactically to help prevent this from happening. So we're gonna have another big pocket here that we're gonna have to close a giant defect that's into the hard palate side. And we have not removed any additional bone here. But again, look at all this. Just more filthy debris. Can I have the suction, please? Okay, so we, we have the same exact hole now we did on the other side. The big defect there that we're gonna have to bring this gingiva here to close this defect from those teeth. 
that. This guy will feel so much better once he's 